What's up, guys? So it has been a long time. I apologize for that. I apologize for the lack of responses. Um, I said many times on the Discord that the next video I made would be the server being released. It's not being released, so I apologize. I really didn't want to have to make it a video like this, but we're just at a point where I think it's necessary, and I'll explain why, and you'll you know find out. I don't want to ramble too much. I want to try to stay on topic because I know a lot of these videos turn into twenty-minute rambles, and avoiding that. Not even gonna start right now. Okay, so the first things we'll talk about is where the hell the server is currently right now and what the problem is. So this is really where the server is right now in terms of development. The The problem is we need we, we, we don't know what the hell we're doing. This is a new source. It's very confusing. It's way different than, than not just our last source, but most sources before that. Like this source is, um, it's called Kronos. Um, I don't know if anyone's too familiar with it, but... Uh, if you, if you do know, it's it's difficult. It's it's you know, I don't know if it's if it's just because we're archaic and old school and and whatnot. But if it's even difficult for dark, then then I'm sure it, it's just difficult. Uh, but you can see like it is good, right? This looks very good. This is old school. I kind of have the dimensions messed up, but it even has the rune light. You've probably already seen the source. You probably already know this, right? So the problem isn't so much the source or the server, the the game right here, right? The game. That's not really our issue. It's the client. The client, uh, we we don't know what the hell... When I say we, I mean myself, Steven, and then uh, additionally Lazo, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, Dark kind of knows how to do the client, but, uh, you know, Dark Dark just hasn't been able to do anything for us for a while. It's, it's been really difficult to um, get a constant internet connection to be able to, like... I mean, I don't... It's I can't even think of the last time he he's uh, been able to do something for us. I know he's working on the donator, um, the to the, the way to make it so that everybody's donator stuff got automatically refunded. But that was like five months ago, and um, I you know I've I've talked to him since then. It's not like I've talked to him recently. It's just we haven't been able to do anything. So the only person who can do these client updates uh, can't. So we're really kind of at a position where it's like we we can't do anything, right? Um, and some people have suggested, okay, well, why don't you release the server as is right now? Well, the problem with that is this client I'm using, the Connect, is bad. And when I say bad, I mean like it doesn't have our background. It doesn't have uh, a lot of the things we want. We don't. We have an old school fab icon. Um, it's this thing right here. This, they're both the same, but they shouldn't be. This one should be new. I'll get over this one in a second. But um, I know that's minor stuff. But it's like I don't want to release a server without that kind of stuff. So there's really no. Uh, bit of content that's important that's that we're like missing that's we're waiting for that that pretty much is it is just the client thing but that could take i mean if dark really wanted to and he had the ability to he could probably do that in about 20 minutes so that's not difficult um it's just kind of like the problem is we don't know what we're doing right so let's say we release a server we get dark to to you know to, to do the client uh we get the client updated and we we do a little bit more work on the server to get it more presentable we release it, right? There's no guarantee that, like, the first day somebody might notice, oh, there's a dupe here, or there's this catastrophic problem right here. We we have, you know, there's, you know what I mean? Like, the confidence that we'd be able to solve any of those problems is very low right now. Um, and it's not, and when I say, like, when I'm talking about problems, and this is the thing that a lot of people get confused on, um, there's there's multiple kind of problems, right? So there's the, there's the back-end support stuff, the, you know, the technical stuff, making things connect, making, you know, all of the stuff work right there's that and then there's like server sided content like monsters and bosses and stuff like that the monsters and bosses is easy right that's not a problem i've i've been working on that myself and you'll i'll go over that in a little bit because i've i've you know made improvements and i've been learning a lot about that that's not the problem it's just everything else it's the okay like how do we change the quest tab like stuff like that that kind of stuff is kind of difficult it's all of like the in what you would call engine work on old school, I'm not really sure exactly their what, what their engine work is, but I always kind of joke that that's that's what I refer to the difficult stuff as the engine work stuff. And without Dark being like, we just baby we basically need him to babysit us, and that's uh, probably not going to happen. I don't think we can. I, I don't think it's going to happen because it hasn't happened for the last five months, even longer if we're we're counting since you know the beginning. This was supposed to be released like a year ago. Um, it, it hasn't happened so. I don't want to wait anymore for that to happen. I kind of just want, you know, to move on. So there are multiple options. And the first option is keep working on this right here, which is what we're going to call Revival 2. So if I refer to Revival 2, that's this right here. 
And I'll sort of go over a little bit what has changed since the uh, since the beta. So if you go into the Discord section and check server updates, I actually did post all of the updates that I've been working on. So you can see it's nothing major, but it's just improvements based on the feedback. And I'll sort of go over a couple of those. Um, so I mean, there's some changes like uh, the Agility Rooftop course works. Like I've been I've been making homework, right? That's our, you know, that's this is going to be our home. So that's what I've been focused on. I, ignore some of the NPCs. Uh, the VPS is running like a different version of the server. Like I, I don't know if it's in development mode or PVP mode or both or I'm not sure. But some NPCs are like doubled up. Ignore that. In fact, like some I'm pretty sure they shouldn't exist at all. But that's that's not really too much of an issue. I know it's kind of dumb that I was trying to like show off the new improved home and there's more NPCs than there needs to be. But just imagine the ones that are useless don't exist anymore. Right? They're gone. So um, what I've done is I've made just based on feedback. We have this little crystal, which I don't think this was in the beta. It is now. Um, right here, I made this little shop section, so there's basically every single shop all, like, in a really quick area. And before, it was all around the city, and you had to go to multiple different teleports to actually get the shops. They're all here. Um, then, obviously, the teleport received new, um, a lot more um, options that got updated completely. Uh, what is, which ones were today? I guess, uh, I mean, you can see right here. If you want to look at the full list, I don't want to go too much into it, but part of it is also just changing the home location. There's a lot of minor changes um, that are like, so you can, for example, you can see the teleport crystals there. The, can I do shift? I don't, uh, I don't know if I have admin commands. I don't think I do. <laughs> do I? Uh, I don't, because I don't think we're in developer mode. I don't think I gave myself a master. No, I didn't, but they, they work. You can see it's giving me requirements. So, I mean, I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I made the the um, the city function. So, you pickpocket the guard, the thieving, the guards works, and I believe you can get all the stuff you can get from that. I fixed the uh, the chest. The, uh, the there's Right there is a crystal impling. I mean, like, the source is good. The source is really, really good. And I, I know that, that a lot of people who, you know, they've been saying that they don't like the source or they don't think it's worth the trouble... Um, or the, they just claim it's it's just old school. Or it's going to be an old school server. That's the, like okay. When I said that, I, I didn't mean we weren't going to do the fun stuff. We're going to do the fun, unique stuff that's going to happen. I just meant like the base game that you're playing should be old school, right? I think we can all agree that because revival isn't really old school. I don't know what you would call it. I mean, just look at the graphics. Um, they're just different. Like the character model for starters. Can you even... I guess I wasn't even showing it. Like, it just... it. You know what I mean? Like, it's the old, like, 2007 scape kind of graphics as opposed to the current old-school RS graphics. So, I mean, just imagine, like, the kind of content we had on this source, like, but on this, right? I mean, it's... It, obviously, it's the better option, right? It's just harder. It relies on dark. You know, we need him. We need... We need, we need him at least for 30 minutes to get it going... And then we just need him to babysit us along the way. And, I mean, I'll, you know, I'm talking to him. Hopefully we can get that. I know he's trying to get a laptop. Um, this works, by the way. I just don't have the level. So I'm kind of, I can't show anything. I should have made myself a developer. I, I don't. I don't even know how to make... I was going to make myself a developer. I don't. I legit don't know how to make myself a developer. I need a... Steve, Steven was the one that was doing that. But uh, as, I, as I was... I'll go around it. Like, the, uh, the mine in here... I think... Is this the mine or is this the dungeon? This is the mine. These work. So I just, you know what I mean? Like, I, I made every single thing work. and Well, not every single thing, but, like, I'm, you know, pretty much most of it. And then another thing is, I believe you can see right here. Yeah, right here. This this should be trees. So it's kind of a dumb, it's just a way that RuneScape's been designing their maps. They make them very linear paths, and it's stupid as heck. It's unfun to play, and, like, right here, you could not walk there. So I removed that, and I removed a lot of those kind of, like, annoyances. Like, I think that one's right there. Yeah. See, like, um, or this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one isn't as important, but you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of made more pathways, and I did that all throughout the city just based on people's feedback. Vol <laughs> this volcano doesn't exist. No, not, not yet. Um, but the mine works, and then the Ironworth dungeon works, and I even, like, I even got them, uh, dropping the, uh, the shards. So, like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I actually, you know, I learned how to, you know, I was messing around with the source, and I was learning a lot about, about the stuff that I can do, right? This is the kind of stuff that... I basically did on Revival 1. I didn't do that high-end stuff. That's why the server sucks so bad. And that's why there's so many bit bugs and glitches. Is because I can't fix them. But I can code content and, and stuff like this. So don't be worried about that at all. 
even if it takes us a little bit to get, like, it's going to take us probably a couple months to get to a point where we're more recognizable than just the base chrono source. I'm sure we'll have people say, oh, this is just a leech. You just changed the name, and I suppose that's probably true at this point. It really is, but uh, I just want to get you guys something playable. So, option one is stick with this. Uh, keep working on this, and and whenever it comes out, whenever we're at a point where we think it's ready to release, we'll release it. Um, that's option one. So I'm way too lazy to like edit it and make it small, so it's just not gonna happen. So just pretend like this is all you can see, right? Actually, I guess I could just oh fuck, not full screen. Revival did have a resizable too. It's just not. It's not as crisp. It's not as crisp. It's like. Er, well, I guess it's not as bad as I was just thinking it was. There we go. Oh, that's not... It's just... Beep, 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 beep. There we go. See? I mean, yay. Right? So here we are. Revival 1. Or 2. 1. 1. Yes, I'm gonna... <laughs> this is Revival 1. This is option 2 for Revival... I probably, I probably should have done this one first. <laughs> okay, so the second option is go back to Revival 1. Obviously, we would still do the reset, and we would still... Uh, rebalance the server. Um, so the reasons we would do this, uh, it's nostalgic. You guys know the source. You know the server. You've played it before. It'll be basically the same. Obvious. I'm not going to do any real big content changes. Um, I, I mean, I would remove content as opposed to adding any new content for sure. Um, home location would probably be a clean wipe. I would try to go as clean as possible. That would still be the goal, but if you're noticing this right here, I mean, it's we're going to have these problems. Uh, so the reason we would go with this route is it's going to be a lot easier. We could probably get... Uh, when I say we, it's going to be me and Steven mostly. Probably get this thing up on the VPS tonight. And then start working on the rebalancing. We got a lot... That's I mean, that's what we needed to do originally. That was the original plan way back in the day. Was to just rebalance this. And then reset and release. So it's going to take quite a bit of work... This source, uh, I mean, it's got, it had four years of development and four years of just making all of the drops crazier and crazier. Um, but, you know, it's not, it's not too bad because, you know, one, we know how to code it, right? That's, that's really the key is I think I could probably do this 100% by myself. Um, <laughs> I should have made, like, put it on the VPS before I uh, said that, but considering I was able to get the uh, my local host version working and I can't I can't even get my local host version and when I say local host if you're not sure what that means uh, just my computer my personal computer like right now I'm just on my computer I'm not on a VPS or anything like that um, and I, I can't even get the actual server to work I'm on the VPS right now that's how I'm gonna code and I obviously can't do that once the server's active and has players so that would be another thing I have to figure out um, and issues like that that are it's just like, it's, it'll say like I have 100 errors, and it's like I don't know what the hell that means, uh, what I need to do, what I deleted, what I, you know what I mean? Like, and I could try grabbing files, and it adds more errors. It's probably something really simple, it usually always is, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I can't figure it out. But with this source, I know it. I've coded it for four years. I know how to do pretty much everything. I mean, I don't know how to do it right now because I have terrible memory, but like once I'm, once I'm doing it, it'll all come right back to me. Um... Now, when I say I know how to do it, I just mean, like, the kind of, you know, the content. That's that's what I do. I'm a content developer. <laughs> I've, I've made up my title for myself. I, uh, all of the back-end stuff, client stuff, will never have, our client will always be the exact same. Uh, might change the, uh, I, like, I don't know how to change items and stuff like that. That's Those would be the only kind of client changes that would ever get done. That random glitched poster is never getting fixed. Maybe, like, I'm, I'm not on purpose anyways, like, the, when you die and you click your screen and you have to restart, that's not going to get fixed, like, that's, that, those are the downsides to option two, is it's going to be the same server it was before, it's going to have the same problems, it's going to look weird, it's going to have these kind of, I mean, this, right, this specific problem is my fault because of this map area, so that's not, like, that's just me, but, like, you know what I mean, like, these kind of issues are the things we'll have to run into, and I'm, I'm going to try a lot harder to not, you know, not not have them, but even still, some stuff will just be out of my control. But that's option two. It is it's just abandon Brandon Revival two and and go back to Revival one. Uh, the reset's gonna happen no matter what, just because if we released right now with everybody's player files, it it we would 
get maybe 15 people the first day because people want to like look at their accounts again and then zero the next day and forever until we actually did reset it It'd just be a waste of time um we have to do that no matter what but uh maybe on certain like i mean there, somebody's brought it up like there's always a possibility that we could have like um like uh weekends where you went back to like revive like you know revival classic quote unquote which would be this current state right here right now um you know that's certainly an option but uh We'll see. So option three, the last option, is kind of a bit of both. So what we would do is we would reset this, rebalance it a little just so it was a little bit more stable. Any other changes we thought people wanted at the last second. But we probably wouldn't even change the home location or anything like that. And we would just release it. It'd be a very bare minimum server. Um, we wouldn't do really much development to it at all. But you'd at least have a server that you've played before and you could play again. And then on the and instead of developing this server, working on this server, we would be working on the Revival 2 source. Now, obviously, the Revival 2 source is, you know, it's going to be difficult. It's possible that we, we could spend the next five months and not accomplish anything and have wasted that time that we could have been, you know, working on this. So that's kind of the dilemma, right? Obviously, in a perfect world, we would do both, right? But, you know, it's going to be better to full-ass one thing than half-ass two. But, you know... It is an idea, right? That you give you guys something playable, and uh, we, you know, then it allows us to actually work on the better option, which I do believe Revival Two can be the better option. It's just, you know, we can't code it. We can't code it. But in the process of making this video, I did uh, get a message from Dark, so I mean, that's that's good news right there in, a, in and of itself. Also added Crystal singing. That was one of the, that was like the last thing I did. Is it sign, signing or singing? I think it's singing. I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, yeah, like, did I, was it, did I finish the house portal? I suppose I might have to buy one first to check. Uh, let me check. Actually, I'll just show you the whole process. Why not? What am I? No, you know what? No rambling. Okay, it looks like I did get to work. Now, does it take me back out there? It does. Look at me. I See, I think, so the reason I, I wanted to check is because, like, I, I half, co I coded it, right? I, I, at least I thought I coded it. And then went on to do other things, and then randomly in the process of doing other things, I needed to check something in the house, and then uh, it, none of the code worked. So I had to figure out what was wrong, but it does seem like I fixed that. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, it's, like, the house is pretty much ready to go. Uh, all of the, the main things from, from RuneScape are there, like you'd expect, right? All, you know, God Wars, Barrows, Cerberus, Zora, all that shit. So as far as content goes, since this is going to be a slower server no matter what, People will be pretty busy with the normal old school stuff. By the time we're actually like needing new custom content, it'll be ready and available. And another thing is getting new content. That's another thing with uh, Revival Two. That's going to Revival One. That's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, so Revival One, we you know right now we don't even have a lot of the new stuff. Like most of the newest stuff we have is Inquisitor. Uh, is this even in game? I assume it's in game if I'm wearing it, but. I, <laughs> You'd think I would know, right? I uh, I may or may not have coded this server. It, yeah, okay, cool. So then that did get it. Was, was that like one of the last things we did? I'm not even sure. I just hate the drops on this server. Everything had to be noted because everything had to be slightly better than the things before. Uh, yeah, everything will probably get the old school treatment. Will be a lot more realistic to what it drops on old school. And then the more um, unique bosses, the ones we keep, will kind of just go on a on a need to need basis based on what I think the. Uh, you know, the area the drops are missing or whatever. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, apologize for, you know, the lack of content. Uh, I, I was going to not make another video until the server's out, but uh, if I do have to say anything, I will say it. So, uh, yeah. The title of the video will say the server's out. And by the way, when the server's ready to go, I'm not going to do anything like, oh, it's going to be released on this day. It's just like a video, it's live, you're ready to go. There's no countdowns, there's no waiting. The second we're ready to go, we're ready.